I have the KNN23860 and I wanted to see if I can replace the XLR cable. This is a tube style microphone arm, different brands have different designs. Ideally I wanted a USB cable to run inside instead of the XLR cable. So I decided to void any warranty and take it apart. Do not try this at home if you like warranties. Do not try this at home. You will know why as you see the screw ups I got myself into. I found a screw at the top of a mic arm so I went to work. I don't know what this screw actually does. The clamp screw is holding most of this part together. Once I got it out, I was able to remove the tip and expose the cable. Basically, this is enough to change the length of the XLR cable sticking out at the top. The XLR plug is very flexible and can be taken apart. To remove it, I would have to desolder three connections. I might do this later. There's another screw in my field of vision, so I'm unscrewing that as well. Quite unsure what this one does, though. Time to open up the middle clamp screw. This is hard to open and we will see later how to make it easier. Removing the bottom clamp doesn't make much of a difference yet. So first, let's try moving the XLR cable a little. As long as we get the cable out of the loop at the top, it becomes much easier to move. This plastic screw at the bottom is holding the cable in place, so pulling the cable by accident won't make the microphone jerk around, but instead only affects the base of the mic arm. There's a little plate holding the spring of the arm down here. I see a screw, so I get it out. Now I can easily look inside the connection between the two tubes. I try not to move it too much, worried to damage the spring. Anyways, now I can pull the cable through the tubes. I'd love to pull the USB cable through the tube, but that's not possible without cutting it and soldering it shut first. Instead I decide to do this with an audio cable first. At least they have fewer connections. First I melt the connections of the XLR cable so it can be pulled through the tubes. I use a thin rope used for parcels to replace the XLR cable. Not knowing what I'm doing, I decide to cut open a 3.5mm audio cable extension. I should have just cut the cable, but instead I decide to open the female plug end. This takes a long time, as does desoldering the wires. I knot the audio cable up to the rope connected to the XLR cable and I start pulling. To my amazement, I'm successful. So at least the XLR cable is free and can be put away for when I actually need it. I messed up inserting the audio cable though, it didn't go through the proper opening. Luckily, it gets easier the more you repeat it.
Connecting the cable back to the audio plug is a mess though. I spend 15 minutes reattaching the cables. And in the end, I realize that I melted the inside of the plug. So I deattach the cable again. So I try to use a male jack plug of old broken headphones I have lying around. 20 minutes later, I realize that this plug has four connections, one for the microphone, and I can't figure it out. So I cut off a jack plug off an unusable lavalier mic instead. That one has a mono cable, but the connection itself is stereo. After what feels like hours, I finally figure out the right way to connect it. I use a hot glue gun to seal the deal. Not shown in the video is that I actually had to cut it open again and resolder it again because it was in fact not the right way to connect it. Blue, red, copper. From the inside to the outside, I think that was the order. This was fun and exciting. I left the thin rope in the tube as well, just in case I want to try this with the USB cable one day. Definitely not this time though. I'll be using zip ties for the USB cable. I really don't want to risk trashing the cable. Check out my unboxing videos of the microphone and the mic arm. Hope this helped you see things more clear. Let me know in the comments which mic and mic arm you're dealing with. I love hearing the context of my viewers. See you next time. Ciao!